One more time, one more time, one more time. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexa for those of you that are new here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this hair that I have in. Uh, I said I was going to do a review and then I've just been doing a bunch of other videos. Um, but I've been getting a lot of questions about it on Instagram. And let's pause right there. If you don't follow me, here are my social media names. I'm trying to get that follower number up. So go ahead and follow me. But anyways, like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions about it on Instagram. So if you're interested, you want some tips, you want to just kind of see what this hair is about, just keep on watching. All right, so, well, so like I said, I've been getting a lot of questions about this hair that I have in. Let me give you all a background first. You know, I like to give background stories. So I have been wearing weave for like maybe... I started wearing weave my junior year of college. It was junior year. The first ever weave style anything that I got was a quick weave. I remember if I have the picture, I'll tag it somewhere here so that you all can see it. It was a quick weave for my birthday and it was, I believe it was just curly hair. It was, it was a bit too much for me though. Um, anyway, so that experience was terrible because I had never taken out a quick weave or anything like that. So I remember I just took the hair out and then washed my hair with like really, really hot water. And my hair just started coming out and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. Anyways, um, after that, I bought some drugstore hair. And that was when like drugstore hair was like popular. That's how long ago it was. Um, so I remember I got that, I got it put in and I really liked it, but I am the type of person that I'd rather spend money on good hair so that it lasts me a long time. Um, so, and that was around the time too that like, you know, like bundles were coming out. So I got that one and then I, I really, really liked it. But like I said, it didn't really last that long. So I ended up going and getting um, some actual bundle hair and I believe I got Peruvian hair and I don't remember the seller um, but I remember the hair has to have been about $200 for three bundles and absolutely love the hair and I think I have some pictures of it so I'm gonna post those over here too um, and so I had that hair for a very very long time I think I had it for almost a year or so that I had that hair. Anyways, love that vendor, and then they kind of disappeared off the face of the earth, and so I just stopped using them. But the last time that I had that one, and I believe I've talked about this before, maybe I haven't. Anyways, so the last bundles that I got from them, I left it in for like four months took it out and my hair had met it so bad under it and then one of my friends who was now deceased got rest her soul um she had just told me she was like girl yeah I leave my hair and for four months all the time all you have to do is put conditioner in it and comb it and you'll be done and I did that and my hair matted and I had to chop everything off and it was just anyway so ever since then I've been natural but I always have hair in between those you know I I prefer to have even though I have a head full of hair I think you all have seen it I prefer to wear weave just because to me it's easier to deal with my natural hair is and I know I, it can go both ways sometimes it does really really great but then I only know like one style that I can do with it and you know that style it only lasts for a couple of days and it's just it's the most anyways um, so for this hair specifically though, lately I have been using Snob Hair. It is a hair company by Ming Lee. I love her, love her, she's such a boss. Um, and so her hair has been around for quite a while. Um, I was a little bit hesitant to get her hair because it is on the expensive side, especially if you don't catch it like on sale. Um, and so I wanted to wait until like I could either buy it for myself or I knew someone that had the hair and loved it. So luckily one of my friends ended up ordering some shorter three bundles and I remember when she got it and just loving how the hair felt, how full it was, just I was in love with it. Um, and so she ended up having that hair for about a year. And after that, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I 
definitely, definitely have to get some. So anyway, so this is my second set of hair from Snob. I get Peruvian. I never get Brazilian hair. For me, it just, um, I, I don't know. I just, I've never done Brazilian. I always do Peruvian because to me, when I straighten my hair, Peruvian matches closer or is the closest match to my real hair, at least I think so. Um, so I always get Peruvian hair. This specifically is 218 inches, 116, and then a 14 inch closure. This is actually the first time that I've ever had a closure in my entire weave wearing life. Um, and I actually really like it. I opted to go ahead and get it, one, because we were taking our engagement photos, and I have a lot of heat damage right here from when I do have weave, and I, of course, leave it out. And so I wanted to do something over the summer that kind of protected that and allowed it to grow because my hair does grow, luckily, um, but I think it just needed some time to do that. So I went ahead and got a closure, and I'm actually really, really liking this. Um, so I got this hair put in July 19th. It is now September 8th. And to me, it looks, still looks pretty, pretty good. Um, I'm actually going to take it out though and probably get it reinstalled for my birthday, which is coming up October 2nd. Um, but aside from that hair maintenance, one thing that I always do, well, okay, let me back up. So. So talking about hair maintenance though, with a closure, I have noticed that I don't have to wash my hair as frequently as I usually do when I do have leave out. My real hair gets dirty really quickly and especially when I'm using a lot of products in it, that's when I have the issues with it being dirty and having dandruff and all that stuff. So with the closure, I think because I'm not putting any products directly on my hair, I can go about two weeks at the most without washing it. Now, when I did that though, my best friend <laughs> saw me <laughs> this past weekend and was like, can you not wash your hair? And I was like, no. She was like, look at my little stuff. So <laughs> I had to wash it. But, um, but aside from that, I try to wash my hair weekly. And I know that may be a lot for some people, but that's just what I like to do because I like when it's flowy and bouncy and all that like this. And to me, you can really only achieve that when you wash it as much. And to me, when you have hair like this, it's human hair. So you, I mean, like the people that this hair comes from, they wash their hair like every other day. You know, so I think a week is a decent amount of time for that. Um, I only use sulfate free shampoo. I use Carol's Daughter's Almond Milk Shampoo and Conditioner. And so I just do about two or, sorry y'all. So I do about two to three washes depending on how I feel the hair is kind of doing. And then I condition it and wrap it up, put it on top of my head and finish whatever I'm doing. Um, whenever I dry it, I don't know if I have one in here. I don't have one in here. Um, but whenever I dry it, I basically just use one of like those hair wrap things, put the hair down, tie it up, and let it sit for a while. But the most important part is that when you dry it, that you're drying everything. So there's two ways that I do that. I will either do it by the hand blower and sit there for an hour and really make sure that everything gets dried, or I will sit under the dryer dryer and do it and then sometimes like if I wash my hair like on a Friday night I'll let it air dry um, overnight and then in the morning I'll go ahead and just blow dry it to make sure that everything is pretty much dried um, so that's pretty much it for maintenance as far as hair styling though you can do whatever you want to do with this hair um, this past week I actually had it bone straight um, before that, I had flexi rods in, and this is actually just curled with a um, curling barrel. Um, and I'm actually gonna kind of curl it just a little bit to see. So the hair can withstand 450 degrees, I believe. Um, and I've never, this one goes up to 430, so I haven't tried anything higher than that. I don't think I would anyway. Um, but it curls really good, it straightens really good. 
to me this is just it's it's amazing hair um but there are some other places that i want to try out so after this bundle or these bundles are done i will probably try d hair boutique they are really really expensive so you know we have to see, but I'm the type of person that I prefer to go ahead and invest in hair because it'll last you a long time. So like the last bundles that I had from Snob, I believe I had them, I believe I had them for like eight months or so. And this is not eight months straight. This is like eight months in between installs. Um, and like I said, I use it as much as I need to. I actually have some hair, some or the old bundles um in my bathroom right now and i can really just walk like if i really really wanted to like i could wash those do whatever i want to do to them install them and they'd be perfect i actually think i'm gonna do a bob with those for the fall i don't know we'll see i don't know anyways um so yes yeah, so i think this hair is amazing i absolutely love it i always get comments on it um it usually runs, let's see, let's go on, on her website. So usually when I buy this hair, I try to catch it when she has sales going on. And she doesn't always put them on sale, but usually when she does, they're pretty decent. Um, they're pretty decent for the price. So like right now, a 16 inch is $79. Um, let me see. And the 80 or the 80 and the 18 inch is 90. So if you wanted to do what I have in my hair right now and my closure was 19. So for a closure and three bundles, you'd be spending $378. And I know that is a lot. It's like, what? But I think it's worth it. I really, really think it's worth it because of the type of hair that it is, because of all the things that it withstands. You can really do anything to this hair and I mean, it'll be the bomb. Like I've dyed it before. I haven't had a cut on any of the hair yet, but I do know people that of course cut it, you know. And then she has a bunch of different hair. So like I said, I like Peruvian just because it matches closely with my hair. I just... I like everything about Peruvian hair. I like the wavy curls that it gives you. But she also has Brazilian. She has Malaysian. I know she has, um, I think, like Chinese. Not Chinese. Is it Chinese? She has Ethiopian, um, Indian, Japanese, denim, Russian blonde. So she has, I mean, an array of hair for you to try if you're interested. So, you know. I definitely think if you've never heard of Snob Life and you're in the market for a new vendor, Snob is definitely one to try. Like, hands down, without a doubt. Um, customer service is great. I love how she ships them. You know, she kind of takes on the whole kind of Chinese thing. So you get the hair in like one of the Chinese takeout boxes. It's just really, really cute. Um, so yeah, so that is pretty much it for the hair. Now I'm gonna get into just showing you all how I curl it really quickly. And I curled it earlier, but then I went out and got stuff for dinner and got rained on, so. So I use the Hot Tools. I believe this is a either one inch or half inch barrel. It used to come with the little clipper thing, but I took it off. Let's see if you can see it, yeah. For what, like who uses that to curl? I, I can't curl my hair like that, so I use this. So anyways, so like I said, I, well I don't know if I said that, but I washed this today, this morning, hand dried it or dried it with a hand um, dryer and left it pretty much out. And then after I finished my makeup, I went ahead and curled it. So we're just gonna curl it again. And so what I do with this one is, I kind of do like messy kind of curls on it. And so I am taking this hair out though. I've had it in for about two months. No, 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 I got it July. So like a month and a half. And I'm just ready to take it out. I'm ready to cut my hair. Do y'all see that curl though? 
So I'm just ready to just take the hair out. Cause you know, sometimes you just want to play in your real hair. You see that really cute hairstyles and you know, not that I ever try them, but it's just, it's nice to, you know, dream. So this is just kind of what I do with it. I curl it and then and I do like big curl or like big sections at once because I'm not really trying to get it like defined curls. I want more so like waves than anything. And I'm not gonna speed this up because it's really quick. Like it doesn't really take that long. If it gets too long, then I will speed it up. And some of the hair is already curled. So I don't need to do like too much to it. But it's just really like, this is like some of the best hair that I have ever tried. Like I said, there is one more vendor called D Hair Boutique that I wanna try out, but their hair is like super, super expensive. Like even when it's on sale, it's expensive. So. You yeah, know, we'll see, but I love this hair. To me, it does exactly what I need it to do. So, you know, even with, like when I got my closure, because I did, originally what I was gonna do was use the hair that I already had. And so I just bought a closure because, like I said, for the pictures, I just wanted like flowy, beautiful hair. Um, so I got the closure separately. And then after I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some new hair anyway, because I was gonna do it. So I was like, you know what? I might as well just have them for the pictures. And so that's what I did. And like I said, I am not doing anything like fancy here. This is like my everyday style for work. When I'm trying to do something after I beat my face and I wanna be decent is what I do. Oh, you know what I didn't talk about? Shedding. So the hair does shed, but it's not, I think it's almost like, like it reminds me of like when human hair sheds, like how you would expect that to kind of shed. I feel like that's when you, um, or that's what I can compare it to for the most part. Um, however, when you get this hair, um, there's like a little like do's and don't card that comes with it and on there they always say to what is it called they say to um seal the tracks you all see that look, look, look at that bounciness i never seal the tracks on any of my hair just because i have tried it before and it doesn't necessarily like i don't see the difference in what it does um so I don't do it, but I bet if you did, you'd have even better results. Um, but like I said, the hair shedding is minimal. It does not tangle whatsoever. Um, at least I don't have that issue. I've never really had that issue with it. Um, when I get out the shower and I have it like in a knot and then I need to take it out, then I'll get some tangling, but the hair doesn't tangle by itself. Now I do know that when you get into longer bundles, like 20, 22, like that's when you really see, or that's when you can really test to see if hair is like really good with that because you know, the longer that the bundles get, the more shame or the more tangling you'll have, especially like right in the nape of the neck. Almost done. So then once I finish curling it, I just take one of these wide tooth combs like this and just flip it out. And that is pretty much it. Of course, if I need to, I'll take like edge control and I'll go ahead and lay my edges down. And I'm not gonna do that right now because it's the end of the day, so I don't need to. That's pretty much it. And like I said, it curls amazingly. Let's 
see that. It's just, it's bouncy, it's flowy, it just, I love it. Some of those, some of my favorite hair that I have. So I will go ahead and post the link down below for the exact hair that I get from Snob so that you all have it. And comment below, tell me some of the hair vendors that you all love, hair that you swear by, what products you use on it, hairstyles, all that good stuff, okay? Now, now I gotta get some pictures because you know what? This hair is popping, popping. And shout out to, I'm going to go ahead and shout out one of my followers who asked me about this. What is her name? Ashams. Go ahead, shout out homegirl for saying that she loves this hair. She was another one that inspired the video. She was like the last one that I was like, you know, I need to go ahead and make a video. Um, so shout out to you, homegirl. Thank you for watching. So anyways, you all go ahead and of course, Give this video a thumbs up. As always, make sure you subscribe. I'm putting it right here so that you all can subscribe, okay? And watch the video right here too. Okay, just do all that for me. Um, and so that's it. Until next time, I will see you later.